Shane. Ushered through. Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, th thank you. And the reason we ran this bill is I'm also on the Water Resource Review Committee. And we traveled around the state during the summer. And uh, we were in the lower Arc Valley, and we were I was talking to a, a farmer there by the name of Philip Chavis. And he has a large farm. And um, uh, he was telling me that because the Bureau of Reclamation uh, had decided that he could not use uh, Bureau of Water to irrigate him because it was it's on a scheduled one. So, um, but in talking to him further, I, I, I found out that uh, there's some marijuana growers, but they're able to use it because they're paying almost 20 times the amount of the normal rate. So I said, this is absolutely wrong. So I teamed up with, with Mark Catlin, and, and Mark has, uh, he's been my go-to guy on water since I got to the General Assembly. So. Um, along with Mike Preston and uh, several around <coughs> the state, but uh, we decided to run this bill saying that did some research and um, uh, not with him, but in, in uh, California and Washington State uh, in the medical uh, marijuana industry, uh, the Department of Justice had tried to shut down some uh, dispensaries. And so it, it went to court and the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals uh, ruled that uh, as long as it's uh, approved by the voters of the state and is not uh, breaking any state laws, the Department of Justice has no standing. So we kind of took that stand. We took uh, the Farm Bill, uh, under Title 35 of the Farm Bill, that it is recognized as an agricultural crop. We had some pushback uh, from uh, Colorado Water Congress, uh, Farm Bureau. Um, Mike was, uh, was one of my big backers on this and kept me... Uh, a lot of information and how it's going because they had been through this before. Uh, it's ironic that uh, the state of Colorado and the uh, Colorado State University raises hemp and they irrigate it with Bureau of Reclamation water. So why do you want to cut a guy in, in uh, Rocky Ford, Colorado off the water? So that was the, the basis of the bill and uh, uh, against all odds it came, uh, it came out uh, uh, 99 to 1 with the opposition that we had on it even. So uh, I think it's a great bill. I think hemp has a great future in Colorado. As I as I say in, in, in home in Montrose, uh, if you didn't raise pinto beans last year, if you're a farmer, you lost money. What I can tell you is if you raise pinto beans next year, you're going to lose money. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, uh, that's why we're here. And... Uh, it's an honor to work with the Lieutenant Governor. Uh, Colorado State University and the Colorado Seed Growers Association have kind of banded together around hemp. And that last year in Colorado we had 5,800 acres under cultivation, which is roughly half the. Now, until I sign this, it's not a law. Right now, it's just these guys have done a lot it's of It's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. 